So I wanted a, to generate a sequence of MIDI, so I'm using Pygame MIDI here. There's other Python MIDI libraries, but I had trouble with the dependencies with the others, whereas Pygame MIDI just, just works, so I recommend it. Next, I've got a uh, array of chord progressions, and now I'm here I just change those strings into arrays so I split it um, there. Next we need the scales. I'm a big fan of sound healing so pentatonic is the go-to scale for me. It's hard to make things sound bad as well which is a plus. Next, got a little function which pulls out the MIDI key based on the index in the chord progression. So we've got the root note for the um, MIDI, then we've got the indice, and then we pull out the, we add the uh, offsets. Is a function which gets the next chord. The function has a pointer to to the chord and a pointer to the progression. So it pulls the chord from here. So if the pointer is there, we get that chord. And then, based on a random seed. we try and find a new progression to switch to. So I randomly choose one of these progressions and I look for the current chord in the new progression. So say if we're in this progression and the current chord is one, I will randomly select the chord and look for that chord in the new selected progression and then switch to the next chord. So we're strumming along, we hit this chord, we randomly select this progression, we find that that chord is in it, so we then continue with this progression and so forth based on this uh, random seed. So we try 10 times to find a new chord progression to switch to. If not, we just continue with the same progression and then we return whatever the current chord is. Now, we've got some drum tabs. Um, so we've got a bunch of, bunch of drum patterns and a bunch of drum fills. A little function to pass the the tabs so we're gonna split each line so we get boom boom and then for each one of those split lines we pull out the label bass drum snare hi-hat cymbal and we pull out an array of paths uh, array of the lines as we're splitting on the pipe symbol. And we get rid of any empty lines because as we've already split it, we will have an empty, empty string there. Okay, then we check to see if uh, the tab is missing one of these for uh, in this code, I'm using a MIDI channel for each one of these. So MIDI channel one, middle channel two, middle three, MIDI channel four. So if if any of the drum tabs is missing one of these, we just stuff in a blank 16 sixteenths. There we go. Um, okay, so well, R is not defined. 
R is not defined because it doesn't exist. Okay. Now we've got the MIDI stuff. So first we keep track of the bar we're on and that's so that we can use these fills. So whenever we're on bar three, we switch to using the fill tabs. Okay, so we need a bunch of settings. So we need the scale, we need the root MIDI key, we need the root lead MIDI key, we need a BPM, calculate the time of a 16th, um, set the MIDI port, initiate Pi gain, set the output. Uh, these are just to keep track of what MIDI signals have been sent so I can turn them off on the next, next beat. First we randomly select a drum pattern and randomly select a fill, drum fill, and then we get running. So if we're on bar four, we're gonna use the drum fills. If we're otherwise, we're using the drum patterns. And then first we're using MIDI channel zero. We're gonna pull out, um, we're gonna check to see if we need to send a bass drum. So we're keeping, we've got a pointer which is counting to 16. So we look at the index we're on and we go, oh, boom, there's a bass kick there. So we need a bass drum kick, so we send that. And then we store, store that we've sent that drum kick there, so that on the next 16th, we see that there's no drum kick and we can turn the note off. So if, if in the tab it isn't a dash, then send a note on, otherwise send a note off. And then we do the same for the snare drum, except for we send to channel one, same for the hi-hat, except channel two, same for the cymbal. And then for the bass, we are looking, we are looking for both the snare drum, snare drum and the bass drum. And then, uh, based on that random seed, we send a note or not, just to give it a little bit of uh, um, unpredictability. Otherwise, if we have sent that bass note, we then turn it off. And then for the lead, uh, we only want to send a lead, uh, the lead note is just the chord progression. So each bar we're gonna send one, six, four, five, for example. So we look at our pointer and if the point is at the start, then we send, and we've sent a note for the previous bar, we turn the note off, then we get the new chord, then we uh, get the note the, the key, and then we put the note on. And then if we are on the, on the third bar, we get a new fill pattern. Otherwise we get a um, new drum pattern. And then we, up our counters. All right, let's. I've noticed uh, the MIDI doesn't always behave as expected when I try and run it in a Jupyter notebook, so I may switch to the console. But it looks like it's running. Now, I'm going to use. So we've got channel one sent to the kick, channel two sent to the snare, channel three sent to the hi-hats, channel four sent to the ride, channel five sent to the bass, channel six sent to a lead. 